Hi, James with the OneHourSmartHome.com, and today we're going to show you how to use your Ring doorbell with your Echo Show. What this allows you to do is view your Ring doorbell on your Echo Show device or any Alexa device with a screen. This will allow you to view the live stream or answer the doorbell and talk to somebody at the front door using your Echo Show device. So I've got a Ring Pro doorbell connected to an Echo Show 5, but this will work with all Ring doorbells and all Echo Show devices, as well as with the Fire TV or Fire TV Cube. So we'll get started now, but before we get there, please subscribe, like this video, check us out at onehoursmarthome.com. So there are two commands that you can use to pull up ring doorbell on your A-L-E-X-A, but what you need to do is you have to have, obviously, uh, Echo Show installed and the Alexa app. You also need to have your ring doorbell installed, and then you need to connect the ring skill to a-L-E-X-A on the A-L-E-X-A app. So it's real simple. We've got another video for that. We'll uh, put a link to that or you can just search one hour smart home, how to connect uh, ring to A-L-E-X-A. So uh, super simple. There's two different commands you can use. Uh, the first one, we're just going to say, Alexa, show me front door. Okay. Okay, so it says waiting for ring. Okay, then it pulled it up and uh, I'll move it a little bit closer. We'll see how far this cord will reach. Uh, so you can see that is the front doorbell. And uh, there is a way on here. It's got the mic off when you pull it up, but you can then just click the mic on and you can have two-way communication with whoever is at the front doorbell. I'd say this is about the same as viewing it on your phone. Maybe the display is a little bit washed out or it's just that time of day. Uh, but it's pretty much the same as viewing it on your phone and you can have a two-way conversation, which is nice if you don't have your doorbell uh, or your phone near you, you can view your doorbell. Another thing that I use this for is if you're in an office or maybe you wanna use your ring as more of a security cam, uh, you can just turn this on, set it by your desk, and just watch what's going on in the live stream. So if you're waiting for a package or a visitor or something like that, uh, this is a nice way to sit at your desk and see what's going on. I do know people that uh, have had like offices, a, a front door office or a, uh, an office with like a street level entrance, and maybe they aren't anywhere near that street level, that they have used these kind of as a entry method and to know when their visitors are arriving. So kind of a neat feature. But uh, we'll show you the other command that you can use with the Ring doorbell and A-L-E-X-A. So I'm just going to close out of this. You can just, uh, there's a little arrow, goes back to home. So the other thing that you can say is, uh, and the first thing we said before I get to the second one is, you say A-L-E-X-A, the name of your doorbell. So you're going to say A-L-E-X-A, show me the name of your doorbell and it will pop up. So we said A-L-E-X-A, show me the front door. So if yours was named back door, or side door, you would need to insert that uh, to pull it up. Now the other thing that you can do is say A-L-E-X-A, answer the front door. So we'll show you that. Alexa, answer the front door. Okay. Now it's going through, okay, and it has the front door. Now the difference between these two commands is that when you say answer the front door, it will actually already have the mic on, so you have two-way communication. So when you say show me, the mic is muted when you pull it up, but you can change it. And when you say Alexa answer, the mic is unmuted and already in two-way communication mode. Uh, but if you needed to, you could mute it just like that. Uh, the little button down here that does let you mute it. So that is how you use Echo Show with Alexa. So it's very simple to use Alexa with Echo Show. I just muted Alexa so that it doesn't uh, go off here. And really all you need to do is have an Echo Show and a ring device, and then you need to make the connection between the ring skill and Alexa in the 
Alexa app. So just make sure you do that in order to enable this. This will once again work with all Ring devices and it will work with all Echo Show devices. This is the Echo Show 5. I do like this little device. We'll put a link to it below. I like it because it's like the size of an alarm clock. Um, so, you know, it could replace your existing alarm clock, but it's got a video screen. You could watch movies on here. It's also got a pretty good speaker for the size of the device. So I do like that. And it is good for a little monitor to see what's going on. So some people just leave these on. Um, if you're trying to catch a package thief, because package thieves don't typically ring your doorbell, uh, this is a great little way to see what's going on. Now, another thing that you should just note about using the Echo Show with the Ring doorbell is that uh, it will alert you on your Alexa device when the Ring doorbell is pressed, but it will not automatically answer the doorbell. So this video screen won't automatically pop up when somebody presses the doorbell. You need to say, Alexa, answer the doorbell in order to get the live video feed. Now that's a little bit different with the Nest Hello and the Google Home Hub. That does automatically answer the doorbell and it does have a little button on there. It allows you to accept or reject a call uh, with like a green and a red button. So just a slight difference between the two. Uh, you know, I've had a Nest Hello and a Google Home Hub on my house uh, before and I right now have the Alexa and ring doorbell combination. Just a couple minute differences between the two. Typically, I lean a little bit more towards Alexa devices uh, only because there are so many different variations of the Alexa devices out there that you can find one that really fits the niche and there are a ton of devices that work with Alexa. But there are a lot of people that also like to keep everything kind of within that Google uh, ecosystem, which is, uh, you know, Nest, Google Home Hub and all the other Nest devices. And those are all good products too. Um, just differences in how you use your smart home. So just something to note, this does not automatically answer the door or show that video screen. You need to pull it up with your voice versus Google does automatically answer the door and you can accept or reject the call by pressing the button on here. Uh, Alexa or Amazon or Ring, if you're listening, I think that would be a nice feature to add so that you automatically answer the door on your Alexa device and can accept or reject a call. It seems like relatively simple programming. I don't know the exact uh, specifics of it, but something that I think that a lot of people would use and would put this system on parity with the Google Home Hub and Nest Hello doorbell. Uh, but otherwise, great system, a great way to use it. I use it in my home, works fine. And uh, just something to note. So, Please enjoy this video. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. If you want to support us, click on any links below or visit us at onehoursmarthome.com if you want to learn more about smart home automation and how to use your smart home. Thank you.